Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Those are ones, empaths. This narcissist that was involved in your life, they know. They know what they had with you and they know they ruined it. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. They have a small part of them that's good. That is consciousness. Right? They have a small part of consciousness. They have a small part of them that's good. Maybe it's 99% bad. Maybe it's 1% good. But they have that that 1% of them um, seeing what they done wrong. Making them aware that they're doing wrong. It might be only a small, small bit of comprehension or a small, small voice. But they have some consciousness, right? It's not like they don't have a conscience. Yes, the the scale, you know, may be really one-sided, you know, on the side of the bad, on the side of the negative. But they have that small percentage that gives them the knowledge to make them aware of the bad mistakes that they make in life. And do they ever listen to it? No. You know, they try and block it out. They try and fight against it. They try and block it out. But narcissists that are involved in your life are not inherently evil. They're not inherently evil. Not fundamentally evil. You know, they have a small part of them. But that's not to say, I'm not telling you this so you try and rekindle with them or see them in another light. It's about them being aware Right, because it's it's kind of made out that the narcissist isn't aware of their behavior. They they are aware. They're not children. They're not stupid. They're aware when they're gaslighting you. They're aware when they're manipulating you. They're aware when they're lying. They're aware when they do all of these things. Right. So because they're aware, you know they need they they. They they ultimately know they've ruined it with you, you know? So when they find themselves not being able to replace you, realizing you're irreplaceable, yes, it dawns in their mind that they're at fault. A lot of them are very stubborn. A lot of the narcissists that are involved in your life will never admit to you that it's their fault. A lot of them are stubborn as hell. But there are some narcissists Maybe they're lesser in mid-range. I don't really know. But there are a percentage of narcissists that try the pity plea. Will use apologies. Will actually say sorry. But you've got to take that sorry with a whole bucket of salt. Not a pinch of salt, a whole bucket of salt. Because you can't take them as genuine as they're being genuine. They're merely using the apology or the pity plea. Um, to gain entry back into your life. That's why they're doing it. That's why they do it. But this video is to make you aware that they're aware of what they're doing. They are aware of the times they lied to you. They are aware of the times they betrayed you. They are aware of the times they gaslit you. Yes, with their mask, with their smear campaigns, They'll make it out that it's not true what the, what the reality is. They'll make it out that it's not true. They'll have people under their spell. But deep down in the core of them, when they're alone, they're aware they ruined one of the best things they ever had, which was the relationship with you. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It'll take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But when they are alone... They're aware. So wherever they find themselves, new new supply, they were the new supply, say, you know, deep down in the core of them, they remember how the supply source that you offered used to make them feel. This narcissist involved in your life realizes, remembers, they have memories of you, and they're not getting that where they are now. So narcissists in general are generally unhappy, miserable creatures. But this makes them even more miserable and unhappy, you know? 
because they had something precious. They had something to treasure, which was the relationship and the bond you two shared, right? They, they, they had that. And some of you have dealt with narcissists from all angles. You've dealt with it in your romantic relationships. You've dealt with it in your friendships. You've dealt with it at work. You've dealt with it in your families, some of you. You've had it from all angles. But regardless, these narcissists are aware of the solid bond that you was trying to create, that you was cultivating, the healthy side of you, that not the healthy side of you, but the healthy relationship you were creating. They're aware you were doing all of that. They're not stupid. They know whatever they turn, touch turns to dust. They know they destroy whatever they touch. They can't look after anything. They don't look after anything. They're careless. Right? And the only time they, 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 they begin to introspect like this is after they lose you. They will never introspect like this, thinking in their heads how appreciative they are of you. They may have told you that. They may have said that you're the best thing ever. You know, they don't really mean it at that time. They mean it when they lose you. When they lose you um, and you hear from them, they try and hoover you or they tell you they're sorry or they tell you it was their fault. They do generally mean it. But if you do let them back in, they'll just use it as, a, as an entry point to um, manipulate you again. Right? They'll just use it as leverage to, to manipulate you again. You know, you can't ever accept their apologies or their hoovers because it would just go back through the same cycle of events. You just go back through the same cycle of events. But they deep down, these like, no, you know. So for anyone that tells you that they don't know or they've got a personality disorder that makes them not aware, it's not true. They have a small part of them that is good, that conflicts with all of the evil that they do, that conflicts like a conscience, you know. They do have some form of conscience. It may be warped, it might be deluded, but they have a small, very small fragment, a very small part of them that knows what they're doing, that tells them they're doing wrong, you know. And that's why they're never truly satisfied. Because they're not at union with oneself. There's a duality going on. They're not at union with themselves. You see? There's a duality. And duality exists. Positive force, negative force, it exists. Right? There is duality. But their duality is not a 50-50 split. Their duality is like 99% evil, 1% good. You know, so they just have a small, very small part of them that pesters them, that makes them aware they're doing wrong, something they have to learn to live with. And that's what they do learn to live with. They never, they, they side with the evil, they side with the negative, however you want to call it, however you want to look at it. They side with that side. But throughout the process, deep down, they know that they ruined what they had with you. And you've got to make sure you never let them back in and make sure that they are left remembering you from a distance. Best thing they can do is remember you from a distance. Leave this narcissist that has involved in your life as a thing of the past and never give them another opportunity. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. If you'd like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member, gain access to unseen videos and video requests, three-day free trial work, visit zionmembership.com. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.